Hi friends! It's a gray day, but we're going to have a play with ink, so it's a great day. Uh, first I want to say thanks to Sarah at Ginger Peach Pens for tagging me in this rainbow of inks thing. Um, I really loved her video and like the category she made, um, and I thought, mm, I'm getting in on this, so let's go. I am doing different categories than she did, um, but she encouraged that, so it's going to be fun. Should we start with, yeah, let's start with red. So uh, I feel like anybody who's watched my stuff for a long time will not be surprised at the red I've chosen. It's also the only red ink I own, <laughs> Diamond Red Dragon. Here is a swatch of it. This is like red. This is a good red. Um, it is not pinky. It is not orangey. It's ready. Nah. Ready for writing. Um, I got my tea and my water to clean my brush is right next to it. That's smart. That's smart. Move the tea slightly. Get this brush wet. I'm probably going to have to pause at some point and clean out the water. But, let's go. I, I owe y'all a video about the um, my trip. Teal Deer is, did not go as planned. I came home early. Um, but it was still uh, full of adventure, so I got that going for me. So here is some red. Mmm, it's a glorious red. Glorious. I gotta move this though. Like the light is from the window there. Let's see. Go like that. Let me help a little. And now, cap it. Cap it. I'm not gonna line up the bottles or anything because, like, no. No. Then we can come to my favorite orange. Any of you who've been watching for a while will also know, I'm not a huge fan of orange. I only own one orange ink. I did audition. I don't know why I felt like I needed to own an orange ink. So like, I did audition a bunch of orange inks before settling on KWZ Grapefruit. Now, this is orange, but I will say it leans a bit red. However, as somebody who doesn't care for orange a ton, uh, purity of color is not important to me in this one. Um, the big bonus with this is it smells delightful. Oh, oh, we've contaminated. We've contaminated. That's fine. Nobody cares. Some of you already know what I'm doing right now. And I don't need to lighten you. Oh, and this swatch for this is here. Oh, it smells so good. Um, if you do not like, this is um, the mold prevention thing. Smells really strongly, so I think they add vanilla scent to it. I love it. Some people do not. Um, I do get migraines, but scent is rarely a trigger. Oh, this is beautiful right here, even if it's like a mistake. If you try and fix no. If you try and fix it, it will get messed up. Then we come on to yellow. Those of you, again, this is like broken record. Blah, blah, blah. One yellow ink. Is it actually yellow? I'm arguing yes. We got to shake this one up, though, because it's full of shimmer. I've been gone, so I don't know if the Fountain Pen subreddit is still doing the thing where they put shimmer inks in a magnetic stirrer. That was a delightful time period to be part of. So this is Edelstein Golden Barrel. This ink is work appropriate, it is business appropriate, it is everything your life should be. 
by which I mean it's probably just that last one yeah, because probably most people are not writing things in oh we did it again it's great this ink though oh, it's so good it's so good I laid it on kind of thick thick that one isn't spreading as much so that's good and here is the swatch card for this for the record, like, here's my first three swatch cards and my little thing, which I thought was funny. Now we come to favorite green. Now, this is a tricky one because I don't love all shades of green. And I tend to like greens that are on the bluer spectrum, but that felt like the wrong thing to do for this. Um, because it felt like we were aiming for more, you know, neutrally neutralies. Not neutral, but you know, you know, or you don't. I know. So I have gone with Schrodinger. For one, I like the idea of like science based inks. I think that's delightful. For two, I like this color. Uh, mostly. I mean, it's not my favorite shade of green, but. Um, it's a good one. Kind of a dark grassy green to me. Foresty green. I just want you all to know how difficult this is freehanding. Like difficult shapes. And here's this swatch card. So green, like this is, I could still just say is green. Right, like some inks you're like, well, it's kind of a bluey green or a greeny blue. This one just to me still says, yeah, that's green. And who doesn't love an ink that comes with a set of Schrodinger and Cat? Now for blue, I was tempted by Cat. I thought about it quite a lot. I, like, for real, that was one of my toughest choices. Probably because blue is my favorite color. And it feels like, holy cow, of all the blues, what blue is going to represent me? You know what I mean? Like, it feels like a fraught choice. And so, there are a bunch in this family. But I went with Glamorous Peacock by Kiwi Inks. Because I like uh, showing, um small smaller companies too so we're shaking this because this is also shimmer and we're gonna have a sip of tea i'm gonna pause we'll be back when it's shaken and let's go you don't you don't get the the leisure of waiting you know what how thoroughly did i clean that So Glamorous Peacock is similar to Monarca Cenote. It's similar to Colorverse Cat. Uh, it's not too dissimilar from Birmingham Galactic Twinkle. It's a color I really like. You know, blue. So I'll show you those swatches real quick. Hey, can do you know how caps work, Maria? This might not be me. This might not be a me problem. I think it's a this problem. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna maybe pause and fix this. Mm -hmm. I am contaminated with ink. This is fun. This is fun. Are you even making an ink video if you don't get ink on your hands? No. No, right? Okay. Ooh, the water is not an attractive color right now. But I'm still 
not dipping it into my tea, so we're still winning. Okay, next up is, oh, we were going to show you these. So here's Glamorous Peacock. There's Cenote. There's Cat. And where did I say? Galactic Twinkle, I think, is a slightly more teal leaning. Just ever so slightly. Then we come... to purple and I actually have two purples and I'm allowing it um the first purple is California Reason. I love this one. I got a lot on. So, unlike every other ink so far, this is like, oh gosh. more of a shading like watery ink um which you know i like we're not going to try and fix that because we're going to contaminate everything if we do and it's swatch card is here not really the color of raisins in my opinion, but it's pretty, so I'll allow it. Get some tea. My other favorite purple, Matisse de Lourdes by Jacques Urban, part of the 1798 series. I'm gonna roll it around. I did just ink up a pen with this the other day, so. Not quite as settled as it might be. So get a little, a little on there. Mm hmm And put you there. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's show you the swatch card after we bottle it. That is here. Gorgeous. Love it. Get out of my ink. Thank you. And now, now we'll wash our, I'm going to go change my water really quick. So we're pausing. It will be like no time for you. Okay, I have clean water now. And maybe cleaner hands. So next we will go to pink. I don't think this is going to be a surprise. Hiroshizuku Tsutsuji. The first ink splurge. Well, no, the very first ink I bought was like an ink splurge, but like... I kind of want to include this because, like, there's nothing as special about this ink, right? Like, Emerald Chavor is like, whoa. Whoa, buddy, whoa. Um, so, we're going to look at Tsutsuji here. I got to turn this. I'm not that, I'm not that leap. This ink is pink, <laughs> right? Like there's nothing shy about it. 
And for me, that's perfect. I tend to like bolder colors. There's a shock. Unless they're blues. Right, I like lighter blues too. And now uh, we come to like the sort of like aqua teal light blue family. This was a tough one because it's my favorite, but we've got a theme here and I had to stick to it. So I'm going with Venta Harana, which is also called Violets Are Blue. I feel like this was a Colt Pens exclusive. I certainly bought it from Colt Pens. And we've got to shake this up. It's a shimmer ink. It's lovely. I haven't used it a ton yet, which has got to be unsurprising with the number of inks I own. But let's go. Um... This is a lovely violets or blue color. Although, aren't violets like violet? Just, and if not, what the hell's going on in there? You know, like, which came first? Et cetera, et cetera. I'm very confused by that situation. Have you all, I've like always been like, I'm confused. Also, I have, like, a low-key hatred for flowers because of that one scene in um, Alice in Wonderland, the Disney movie. Like, those flowers were so mean. And, like, I still don't like those purple irises. They, like, I, for, I just look at them and I think they're total little bees. You know what I'm saying? Not using the word, but I'm thinking it. Then we have favorite brown ink. Y'all, I own only one brown ink. Oh, wait. I haven't been showing swatches. Oh, my God. Maria's fired. Here's Tsutsuji. This isn't a very good card. But it is a card, and it's there. And then we have violets or blue. So this is actually like a, a light blue with a pink shimmer. Appropriate, right? Then we have my favorite brown, a.k.a. my only brown, Cacao du Brazil, which I honestly bought because I wanted to s test browns, and this is, like, as cheap as a sample, pretty much. But it is a pretty good brown. I mean, if you like browns, it's kind of, it's, I mean, cacao, it's very chocolatey, and I like chocolate, and so inks that make me think of food I like are, are probably going to be winners. Um, and... This ink is a little more watery, so to speak, you know, a little less lubricated, a little lower saturation. You can, if you've never um, made, like swatched inks with a paintbrush or a Q-tip, you might not know the feeling but like coming out of a pen a, a lubricated ink is going to feel like a cushion between the nib and your paper tsutsuji is pretty well lubricated so if you've used that there's an example of one writer's blood is over the top lubricated and then last my favorite black Thank the Countess for this one. Color versus shiny black. I also really like Stragoe by Pannonia. But that's like... What did you do, Maria? I... You, how do you open a bottle of ink? How do you open a box? I, I can't tell you because I can't manage it. Um, we're going to shake this one. Stragoe is like high maintenance, so in some ways, like it can't be my favorite. I can, I'm only gonna use that one because it has a pigment in it. I'm only gonna use that in like a, a Twisby Go or some other inexpensive pen that I can take apart to clean because just no. Um, 
shiny black as a shimmer ink is, of course, not low maintenance, but it's the ink that brought me back to black inks, so to speak. Like, I had moved on, which isn't fair. Black inks have a place. They're, I think, like, less tiring on your eyes. So if I write pages and pages with Tsutsuji, it's like, whoa, whoa, I need a break. Not from writing, but when I go back to read it. And shiny black is so, so glorious. It's so glorious. So glorious. I'm just gonna like destroy this box. It came like broken, smashed, not broken. The box came smashed and so it's, I might have to like not store the ink in it. And have you figured out what I've done here? I hope so. Let's let's have at it. Let's do this without shaking it a ton. I already shook it a little bit. So this was my rainbow. I still have to show you the card for shiny black, but um, some of them I may have compromised so that I could do this experiment and show my support. It's not June yet, but it's June in my heart. And there's never a wrong time to show pride, right? I think not. And uh, I don't think I belong to... No, one of these colors is for allies, I think, right? Well, whatever. Here's some inky, prideful love. For all my friends. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you liked seeing what colors make me excited. There's shiny black. We'll take a look at this close up. It's mostly dry. You can see the grapefruit in really heavy applications has this like halo of like a darker, richer orange. I don't see that in the writing. That golden barrel is magnificent. The The glamorous peacock, heck yes. Look at that. You've got like a red halo or mm, I'd call it maybe more of a magenta or pink halo or sheen with the, uh, to me it looks like a teal aqua shimmer. Tsutsuji with its gold sheen, that does come out in the writing. I like violets or blue. When you see it straight on without the light hitting it, it looks like a light blue. But if you turn it, because of that pink sheen, it can look really purple. The Cacao do Brazil doing its thing. Nice shading. Shiny black. I love you. Amethyst de Laurel. Not much of it on there, but it's a showstopper. And even in a lighter, so here this, we didn't, I didn't shake up the golden barrel very much. So it's still a good color. That's my rainbow of ink. I'm curious to see yours. So if you're watching this and Ginger Peachy did not tag you, please consider yourself tagged. And make sure to check out her video. I will link it in the description bar. And um, again, thanks to Sarah for tagging me. I hope whenever you're seeing this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.